uh, Friday, I just said it, in the forecast, Brad, on Friday, there's a risk of seeing some uh, wet snow, the white stuff. Brad's from SunQuest, of course. He comes and joins us very often. And today we're talking about the wonderful world of Orlando. The wonderful world of Orlando. There's so much new going on there. Uh, one of the companies that's really leading the way is Universal Orlando Resort. They have so much new stuff that's going on. Uh, the one thing about uh, uh, theme parks in Orlando, they never sit still. They're yeah. always trying to reinvent themselves. They're so trying to always yeah. give consumers that ultimate experience. Uh, about four years ago, uh, Universal Atlanta Resorts opened the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It was a phenomenal theme park, open to rave reviews. They set the bar as high as they could, but now they've gone and done something even better. And they've, uh, they've launched the, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Part 2, which is Diagon Alley, and it's phenomenal. Uh, mm -hmm. The experience normally starts out in Hogsmeade and Hogwarts Castle, and now you can actually ride the Hogwarts Express, uh, seeing the movies and whatnot, you can ride it from... Hogsmeade and the Hogwarts Castle, right over to the new part that they've just opened, which is Diagon Alley. It's so a the age group thing. is it, it really runs the whole ages. The whole ages. Anybody who's ever ever watched a Harry Potter movie, which includes anyone from six years old to 106 years old, uh, can really get get a real good experience from here. Uh, we've seen uh, Canadian consumers who have gravitated towards this because it's a very cool experience. Yeah. Uh, what they've created with Diagon Alley now is is extremely uh, uh, an immersed experience for the consumer to have a lot of fun, do a lot of cool things, and see a lot of things that there are to see uh, at, at Diagon Alley. What's Cabana Bay? Cabana Bay Beach Resort. So. Uh, one of the things that Universal Orlando Resort added to their portfolio is Cabana Bay Beach Resort. This is basically a, a Canadian favorite. We're already seeing it taking off like crazy. It launched a couple months ago. Um, it's basically done in a 50s, 60s uh, sort cool. of road trip dial, uh, yeah. Yeah, a, a, a sort, of, a sort of diner style. Yeah. Um, the beautiful thing about this is it's very value driven for the Canadian consumer. Um, the suites sleep up to six. Um, nice. They have adjoining suites that can sleep up to 12. Uh, what we're seeing at this uh, resort is for a lot of multi-generational families. Yeah. Families that are traveling as a group, grandparents, parents, I new that. kids. I do I travel yeah. with my parents, yeah. And there's so much to do at this resort. It's all geared around the family and basically having a great time. The cool thing is it's attached to the parks, and there's some benefits by staying uh, on site as well. The holidays coming up, of course, and Universal goes out of this world. It's not really the holidays at okay. Universal Atlanta Resort. They call it the Hula Days. Okay. And it's, and, and it's all focused around Grinchmas. Uh, as you know, the, yeah, the, the Grinch is sold Christmas yeah. is part of the Universal group. And basically, they, they reenact stuff uh, through the month of December. If, you, if you're looking to go away during the month of December, it's a great time to go down to Universal Atlanta Resort. Uh, they have Grinchmas, the Hula Days. Uh, you see Mary Lou Who there and oh, basically the whole and, and really, it's, uh, it's, it's for uh, the family who wants to go uh, experiencing, do some great shopping in Orlando, do some Christmas shopping, but also have a great time while they're, while they're there in Orlando experiencing it. Okay, so, but Friday is Halloween. What the heck do they do there on Halloween? Okay, the, the yeah. cool thing about Universal Atlanta Resorts is that uh, they basically, uh, Halloween Horror Nights is a, is a, a long-standing tradition. Uh, they take over the park, and uh, every evening, well, uh, oh. if you want to get scared out of your, your skin, uh, <laughs> they actually have a totally interactive crew that goes on. They have these uh, haunted houses that are out of this world. They're very well themed. Uh, so if anyone is looking to go away in the next couple of days to get down there before uh, Halloween or November 1st. Or plan for next year, of course. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So well, you can find all this information at sunquest.ca, and it's still a good time to book. There's still some availability. Oh, for sure. And actually, we have some very special offers for Canadian consumers right now. We have up to 30% off at the, at the Universal Atlanta Resort to stay on site, as well as we have some theme park ticket attraction passes where it's third day free. Wow, that's very good. So thank you very much, Brad, for coming oh, in this morning. It's always pleasure. a pleasure to see my you. My pleasure. There you got it. From everything from the Grinch to Harry Potter to scary times at Universal. I'm going to take a break right now. It's a wonderful Wednesday morning.